you have a nice nap? Yes. Are you excited to be here? I am. My name is Irina, and I'm from Russia. I'm 25 years old and have come to America for a better life. Since I was a child, I've dreamed of living here and being a part of this country. But the only one way I could come here was to marry an American man. He seems nice to me and wants to give me the best life possible. He's a little older than me, but I think it's a price I'm willing to pay to come to America. I love my country, but it's so hard to survive there. In America, I feel that any dream I have is possible. I feel like I can be anything I want to be. I had a friend who also married an American and came here, but I never heard from her again. She's probably busy living her wonderful life. Maybe I can see her again someday. Привет. Я только приехала домой. Да, и он выглядит совершенно по-другому от тех картинок, которые он отправлял мне. Не знаю, страшнее, толстее. Мне кажется, что я начала сходить с ума, и мне кажется, что я сделала очень большую ошибку. Очень большую ошибку, что приехала сюда. Who are you talking to? I'm uh, just telling my parents have a rest, definitely. Oh, well, let's go and have a toast. Isn't the view beautiful up here? There's just something about the country air. It just makes you forget about everything else. I guess that's why I moved out here, to get away from everyone and anything. Well, <laughs> here's to us. I'm sorry, but I don't think I'm ready for that right now. I need some time. Okay. You know we're married, right? I know. I'm just still need some time to adjust to everything. Fine. Okay. Yeah. Good night.
My doctor tells me this is the best way to stay sane. He says, each one of us has a glass jar in our head. When we get too stressed or upset, it fills up. And when it spills over, our brain overheats. And our mind does weird things. And our mind can go in a million different directions if you let it. Breakfast? I thought you we should get some basic rules of the house out of the way first. So there's no confusion. First, the house needs to be cleaned daily. My sister comes every week. You are to assist her. Second, unless I am with you, you are not to leave the house. And you only have 10 minutes a week to call your family. I know you miss your family. But it's important for you to adjust to life here. Lastly, we are to read it from the Bible every night before we go to bed. We should not have any problems if you follow these rules. We'll get along just fine. Do you have any questions? I'm going to the store to get a few items for dinner. If anybody knocks, do not open the door. What are you doing up there? I thought I told you to get the kitchen ready for dinner. Sorry, I was just looking for the vacuum. 
Get the kitchen ready. Now, I don't know what religion you grew up in, but in this house, we believe in the Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, open up that Bible and read me some passages from Ephesians 5.22 to 5.33. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. You see, it's in the Bible that a woman should always submit herself to the man. It says they should submit everything. A true man of the household provides his wife with all she needs and and more. It's only common sense that the wife do everything that she can in her power to return the favor to the man. Do you understand where I'm getting at here? Ephesians 6 5. Slaves, obey your earthly masters with fear and trembling in a sincere heart. I think we should make love and celebrate our marriage. I'm sorry, but I don't. Listen, God. I didn't spend $20,000 to fly you over here so you can look all pretty all fucking day. You're my wife. You better start acting like it, or things are gonna get really ugly really fast. сожалеть обо всем об этом я просто хочу поехать домой я знаю просто это так тяжело быть здесь потому что я знаю что случилось просто дай мне еще четыре дня There's the little Russian princess. 
<laughs> Finally awake. I'm David's sister, Ruth. It's good to meet you. So you came all the way here from Russia, huh? I mean, what could possibly be so good here that you just drop everything at home and run over here? Well, I'm just looking for a better life for myself because things in Russia I can't... Just, yeah, but coming here to be with a crusty 60-year-old man? I mean, I met my husband when I was in my 30s and I still needed a bottle of wine to get through it all. Yeah, he's a little older, but he's kind and sweet to me. My brother? No, he's a loser. And he knows it. That's why his um, last Russian princess ran away from him. She ran away from him? Well, yeah. Split town, never to be heard from or seen again. My poor brother. He was heartbroken for months. Are you certain to run away from him? Well, yeah. Unless maybe she's buried out back somewhere. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's go upstairs and do some cleaning. It'll be actually really nice to have an extra set of hands around here. <laughs> You're going to want to take that off. Come on. Upstairs. Well, I guess it must feel kind of weird being the replacement, huh? What do you mean? A few months ago she was here and he was crazy in love with her and... And now you're here, like a spare tire. Oh, look. I believe this was her brush. You can still see the little hairs in it. Hmm. You know, I know she's gone, but sometimes I feel her. This room in particular. Well, she spent many nights in here when she first moved in. I don't think she was um, adjusting as well as she imagined she would. <laughs> Just drove my brother insane. Yeah, the first two weeks were the worst. I mean, they fought constantly. <laughs> and add that to the communications barrier, wasn't good. What happened after two weeks? Well, that's when things really got interesting. Because the girl just shut down. She wouldn't speak. She wouldn't eat. Nothing. It drove my brother insane. As you may have guessed, he um, kind of has a short temper. So, next thing I know, I was coming over and my brother said he needed some help clearing out her stuff. Because that was the really strange thing. She didn't take a single one of her belongings with her. I have an idea. Come on, sit down. You know, if you want my advice about this marriage of yours, you want to keep things together, I would suggest you give the man what he wants. I mean, could be 10 miserable minutes, five if you're lucky. But just close your eyes and think of something beautiful, like a lake or a beach. small price to pay for a better life. Well, I better get going. I'll see you later, hopefully. 
as long as you don't disappear too. So I see you met my sister while I was away. Yes, she seems like a kind woman. She's nice. She also likes to get in my personal life. Sometimes uh, people with most problems I'll try to offer the most advice. She told me about your ex-wife. What exactly did she say? She said you had a previous Russian wife and uh, you two didn't get along together. That's in the past. I'd like to stay there. We didn't get along. We had our differences. And that doesn't matter now because now it's just you and I. She told me she ran away and she didn't even get her things. Is that true? Yeah, that's about right. Anyway, uh, let's us. Uh, uh, that's enough about her. Let's, uh, let's toast to our wonderful and beautiful future. Cheers. I'll be right back. You know you had a lot to drink last night? <laughs> you damn well drank half the bottle. I had to drag you to bed.
what? I mean, what is it? You're disgusting human being. You make me sick. I want to say I'm sorry for how I've been acting these past days. Things were really difficult for me, but I start to feel comfortable around you. And I think things can work out well. So tonight I would like to cook a special Russian dinner for you. And we can celebrate our new beginning together. It'd be very nice. <laughs> My God, this looks amazing. You surprise me in a very special ways. Let's have toast to a better life and new beginnings. I have got a special bottle of wine just for this occasion. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Does the name Natalia sound familiar to you? She was my friend.
I try and take you in and give you a better life, and this is how you repay me? You try and kill me? I don't understand why, why I try to give a woman everything that she wants and a better life, and they always backstab me every time. Oh, okay. So you, so you tried to stab me. Okay, I'm gonna do you one better. I'm gonna chop you up so fine that they'll never know you disappeared. Just like your friend and the woman before her. You know where they are right now? They're at the bottom of the lake, being eaten by the fishes, and you're about to join them! Thank you.